Welcome back everyone to my channel. I am doing a card reading for today's Taurus. This Taurus energy is your predictions for the month of January 2022. Now I've already meditated on the cards, but I want to shuffle the cards in front of you and now as a collective connecting with you. So I want to do a quick little sound with you. If you need to turn the volume down, feel free to do so because it will sound a little loud. So just take a moment and get yourself comfortable. Take a deep breath. Good. Now I feel very grounded and connected with you on the other side, as well as spirit. Starting off with, <clears throat> excuse me, saying if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and click like if this does resonate to you. Again, this is for the general public entertainment purposes only for the Taurus. If you're a cross watcher and get to know who your Taurus person in your life is, get to know a little bit more about them and what their predictions are. You just maybe send this link to them. Um, on our angel cards, let's get our beautiful oracle message here. What is going on for my Taurus? I personally don't know any Taurus, and so this will be a really interesting read. I hope it does connect with you if you happen to be Taurus or if you have Taurus in your chart. Dear angels, what are you needing to tell our Taurus friends? Spirit, oh, okay, the magician. Archangel Raziel, you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Dun, 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 dun. I love that it's number one. It's the number one card in the angel read, and I feel like this is something that you might have been questioning if you are going to see the results of um, everything that you have created. And I believe that you believe in it too, that you have, you are, and you're ready for receiving all that's to your highest and greatest good. And you just need to continue to have that belief as you stay grounded within your um, creations with Mother Earth. And um, wow, life is magical. You are the magician. I love that. With the magician as well, um, you do have all of your powers from within and with the universe. So if anything, you're feeling any kind of um, hesitation, if this doesn't resonate, you might be feeling ill too, maybe a sore throat. Not saying you have COVID or anything like that. I'm just saying this can affect your throat chakra because you're not speaking what you need to do to manifest. You need to actually think it, speak it, and it shall be. So let's find out a little bit more with your um, tarot deck and dive deeper into what the magician is talking about for your present moment, but your predictions for the future. So what can we say for the future for Taurus? Spirit guides, can you please tell me what the predictions for Taurus? No, oh, no, too many cards. Let's take a nice little flip through here. I'm going casino style for you guys. Sorry. That was not pretty. No. Let's try it again. All right. Messages for Taurus predictions for 2020. Can spirit guides, please give me messages for beautiful Taurus messages for Taurus predictions. Oh, wow, we do have a lot. So it looks like we have a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. Interesting. Well, you're definitely in this chart. <laughs> We have the Hierophant, which is your um, major arcana. And with this, you again are probably um, 
in this position of having to speak your truth, speak with what you know, and embracing as it's upright, embracing who you are. Um, starting off with the two of wands, so let's just back up for a second. What popped out of the deck was two of wands. We have nine of cups in reverse, knight of cups in reverse, the hierophant upright, which is you, and then also the chariot upright and temperance. Okay. All right, Taurus, let's talk about your reading and prediction for the future. Two of wands, nine of cups in reverse, knight of cups in reverse, the hierophant, which that is you, the chariot, and temperance. For the month of January, to me, it looks like you have been working on your finances and working on manifesting what you have been creating into reality. Um, here in reverse, it almost looks like from what you have been working together in a relationship, so to speak. I'm not sure if you're in business with someone else or you're thinking about partnering with someone else when you have this creation of yours with your business. But if that is the case, um, I feel this energy and card that's next to you in reverse would uh, indicate that everything that you've been hoping and wishing for and, and desire through this genie card being in reverse symbolizes financial woes. So I would be very cautious if you are dealing with a partner in this um, business situation. With the Knight of Cups in reverse means to me they would be delivering a lot of um, faithful energy that runs and flows in abundance. However, it isn't a reverse position, so I'm feeling like there might be some sort of like, um, I don't know, deception or some sort of truth not being told. And I feel like it also stresses you out and keeps you up at night because when I was meditating on your cards, I instantly felt this connection going um, towards my abdominal area and there was pain and I'm feeling stressed. I feel like I can't breathe. So whatever it is that you're working on and creating with your business, I feel you, you are stressed out. You are thinking about it at night and you have to know that as you sit there and try and be patient, that's your temperance card. Know that the messages are coming and they're coming very soon. So let's find out. I'm curious to see what this business relationship might be. I want to pull um, some more tarot cards at the bottom of the deck um, that you didn't see is also the Magician card for this Deviant Tarot Moon. And I thought that was crazy because it totally matches your beginning Oracle card from the Angels, the Magician card. Then again, it says you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. And that's exactly what this Two of Wands represents, that you have that ability to create and manifest. And you are in this um, opportunity to work with, others and create this together so with that in the magician card again being pulled at the bottom of the deck let's see find out talk to me about this energy when it comes to the um, nine of cups in reverse please spirit please channel that energy tell me more about the knight of cups nine of cups oh that one definitely Six of Wands. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's too many cards. Give me um, a card representing the Knight of Cups. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups and the Six of Wands, please. Spirit for Taurus. Energy. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. All right, you guys are talking to me like crazy, but I really want you to jump out at me and tell me what the Knight of Cups represents with the six of wands. Oh my gosh, so many. Okay, we're just going to stop here and see what pops out. 
Hmm, I want energy. Okay. Hmm. Move this over here a little bit higher so we can see. Magician card again. Okay. All right. So I was asking about this business uh, relationship, this situation um, in regards to your finances, who this person or situation may be, because again, I am talking to spirit and connecting with you. Hmm. Hmm. When it comes to the Six of Wands, it's usually in represents the um, recognition for your work that you have done and the leadership that you have created. Um, the the people underneath you, I feel like you're in a leadership role, and you have a lot of people uh, looking up to you within um, what you do. Let's see here. It looks as though everyone is going to give you that recognition, which is going to be perfect timing because right now you're pretty much in your head and wondering why this isn't happening and you're feeling like, can this happen yesterday? And again, they're asking you to be patient, but the, the messages will be received and sent. And you will receive the recognition for all of the, the part that you play within this connection of enhancing the finances or whatever it is that you have created within your business. Ooh, let's see here. So next to it, you have the Knight of Wands. And usually that represents passion. You are very passionate about whatever it is that you have been working on. So I understand why you would want that recognition as a Taurus. Yes, you want to feel that um, feeling of grounding and proudness within your, your group um, with whom you've surrounded yourself with. Being in the upright position uh, means hasty decisions, a sudden journey, impulsive behavior. And so if you can see this card, um, looks like an insect riding a flea about to jump from one place to the next. As you know, that's how fleas do. <laughs> For you, I want you to um, take a moment and really think about what it is that you are about to jump into because that is not like you. And... I hope you have thought about this situation that you have created. Again, if this fell into your lap from the universe, it can be a definite lesson learning and blessing in disguise. You never know. Hmm. Well, we're about to find out because the messages are definitely coming to you. Now with the um, card next to it, we have Empress Energy, and that is you feeling that grounding energy connecting with Mother Earth, but again, it's in reverse. So I feel like maybe you haven't been doing this, and this is something that you need to work on to receive these messages to keep you in, um, in alignment with whatever it is that you are creating is still in your highest and greatest good, that it's in your heart's desire <sighs> and with the person that you are working on because the empress energy is fertility and abundance and it's creativity it all is connected with the heart and sacral chakra and again i was feeling the abdominal pain 
almost as though you are questioning and, and you're not listening or you're not paying attention to the red flags maybe, perhaps. You're looking away. If you can see this being in reverse, she's pretty much sitting on her on her throne and, and watching as the, the cards play out or the pieces play out, but she's looking away and she's not really seeing all that is blooming around her. And this again, just because it's a female card doesn't mean that it has to be just the uh, feminine or female energy that's out there as the Empress. The feminine energy represents creati creation. So when you are creating, you are feeling this within your heart and in your sacral chakra. So again, if you have pain in your body, uh, right there in the uh, kidneys, um, right there in the sexual organs, the ovaries, all of those uh, in that space, lower back pain, you might want to make sure you're drinking a lot of water and check, I'm not a doctor, but check with the doctor. Do not ignore that because that is a sign that the universe is trying to tell you that something's not right and it's not sitting well with you. Next to this card, is Ten of Pentacles, again, in reverse. So the Ten of Pentacles or Pentacles our, um, suit is usually based on finances and with your career. And again, being in reverse with the uh, Ten is feeling a sense of I don't want to say um, defeat, but it's just like you are seriously losing your patience on when this money is going to turn around. I feel like a lot of people, you carry a lot of responsibility on your back and in not just in your career, but also at home life too. Let's see here. Oh gosh, and it's affecting your home life. Mm -hmm. That's what I was feeling too. Yeah, you do have a lot of responsibilities and you are feeling it's the, the loss of the finances right now is affecting your home. Um, gosh, there's a lot of people that rely on you. And it doesn't mean that you have to have kids or pets or, you know, a lot of debt or anything like that. It's just you have been looked as a leader and um, those that you are leading, supporting, are feeling this effect of your financial woes. So, oh, I'm so sorry, my friends. And again, we have it um, next to it is the three of pentacles and with the three of pentacles represents your teamwork your environment um, not just with family but with your career again you have surrounded yourself with this this tribe that's trying to help create whatever it is that you're working on with your finances looks like you're going to have a shift in the finances because we have the tower moment next to the three of pentacles hmm Ooh, I just heard someone's going to get fired. Now, I don't know if that's you. Let me let me find out. Let me find out. Oh, let's see. Maybe it's to your highest and greatest good that this this tower moment happens. Um, tower moments are not a bad thing, so please don't let that uh, what I just said stress you out because being in the upright um, position is. A loss and it can be um, something that was not planned and but you might have been looking away and not noticing all of the red flags from where you were at you're standing at the very top and then all of a sudden all of the relationships around you you're starting with your career has basically just been like a domino effect and now you're having this shift so if it seems abrupt, you need to know that this is a long time coming because um, things in the foundation weren't quite there. And so now you're having this shift. 
and it may seem a little traumatic, yep. Because if you see here, we have the Hermit card next to the Tower moment, and that means you're gonna be in solitude, trying to deal with everything that's changing and, and, and happening to you. And I really don't want you to go into that, oops, sorry for the shaking of the, um, um, into that victim mode where the hermit feels like everything around you is just dying and, and everything is too much for you and you feel like almost that you're dying, that you can't see the end of the tunnel um, out of the situation. And if this is you, I really want you to meditate because with the hermit car being in reverse, it's affecting your third eye. It's probably giving you, again, a lot of headaches to go with that stomach pain that you have going on. Um, it's giving you um, probably sleepless nights where you are constantly thinking about this and you can't see past what the problem or the issue is. So again, this is something that's going to be happening in the month of January. So be this is your heads up if this does happen to you. And I, I do not wish any ill will on anyone. So if it does happen to you, please know that this is to your highest and greatest good. Know that this is a shift for you to probably go with the career choice or the, the partnerships that you have been looking for that are more um, grounding and solitude. We have Queen of Pentacles underneath your Empress. We have um, Four of Wands, which represents your union with your family in Upright. And again, the Magician card popped back in there. We also have um, Seven of Pentacles. So let's go back to the Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles being in reverse. Again, you being in that feminine energy of creation, of being responsible for your family, for your um your team, your company, your business. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What am I picking up on here? Okay. Well, usually in this position, you would be, if it being upright, you'd have that luxury to be generous with your money. And you probably have been in your past. Know that being in the reverse right now is asking you to reach out to those that are close to you and those that are there that have been in your life. Um, and it's okay because know that all the energy and support you've put out there, you will receive. And if you don't ask, how are you to receive? And the universe is asking you to do that and humble yourself. Know that everybody too is going through um, financial woes uh, or a shift or a change in their career due to, you know, present times, pandemics, um, viruses, and um, just all these changes. And I know it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I know it's hard to manifest love and light when you're going through um, hardships. And the magician being in reverse is reminding you, you really need to find your power from within. Please find your power from within and meditate so that you can create all that is to your highest and greatest good. You have the power. You definitely have the power to do that so that you can create harmony once again and have a solid foundation. And again, this is in your future. So if you're questioning, if you're in a relationship now, if you're questioning the partnership, they're not going to leave you. Please don't think that. Just talk to them, tell them the situation and, and swallow your pride and let them know what's going on because you don't need to hide and you don't need to um, deal with everything that you're going through by yourself, okay? You have family, you have support. You have friends, you have a team, and they understand. So I want you to think about that and think about how you want to um, put your words together to ask for whatever it is that you are needing to get you through this time. Because again, you've been planting the seeds and you've been creating those things are actually going to happen 
we just need to be patient during this time and shift in your um, in your life right now. So upcoming things to look for again is um, just kind of look at your surroundings with the people that you've surrounded yourself with, with when, it, when it comes to the career, the job. Know that this shift is going to be a good thing, but that you will probably want to just take some downtime and reflect. Um, and then the final card being here with the uh, Seven of Pentacles. <sighs> Goodness. <laughs> I was going to say, Goodness, girl, you need to be patient. But again, <laughs> I don't know if a female or a male is watching right now. This can go either way. Um, I'm feeling a lot of um, feminine energy that's missing. So you need to be patient. Find your your grounding again. Go out in nature. Ground yourself through um, meditation, just even touching a tree. I know I sound like a tree hugger, but the energy that you'll receive from Earth, because you are an Earth sign, um, will help channel new life into you so that you're not feeling like nothing's happening and that you don't feel like um, you're going to be able to get out of this because I, I have a feeling that you will. I want you to keep watching and let me know in the comments below if this resonates with you because I'm curious to see. I personally do not have any, again, Taurus in my um, circle of friends or family that I know of. And um, I would love to see if this is happening to you and if this helps you to just go back to your roots, so to speak, and go within and meditate. I'm going to take some um, cards from the Angel Oracle cards from Doreen Virtue to wrap this up and then finalize it with my fairy cards. So angels, what are you needing to tell my beautiful Taurus for the month of January when it comes to their... Dreams, manifestations, creations, premonitions. Ooh, I saw you. I saw you. Ha! Intention. Next to it, serenity. Yes, please. The intention. I had to grab two because the two wanted to come out at the same time. Didn't I tell you you're not meditating? <laughs> intention came out in reverse. I really want you to throw that intention out that faith you have faith that this is going to happen for you to your highest and greatest good okay and with your serenity please just give it up give it up to faith give it up to whoever it is that you believe in that it's to your highest and greatest good your spirit guides your angels your fairies whoever you pray to please l l send it off to the universe and know that they are listening and they are taking care of you. Put that faith and intention out there that you know that they're listening and that they are guiding you and protecting you. So on the last and final card, I'm going to give you an affirmation from the fairies. This will put this beautiful energy of love and light and intention out for your reading for the month of January. So please, fairies, what is the final message for January Taurus. January Taurus. You guys want to pop out of here, don't you? Oh, quiet time. <sighs> Again, Taurus, self-reliance. You have the power within. Bottom of the deck, what do we have? Ooh, detoxification. Sorry to shake that. Shake it, shake it, camera. Detoxification. Okay. So I pulled three cards because they were stuck together wanting to talk to me and give you the messages. Let's talk about the quiet time. That card popped out for your fairy intentions. Or excuse me, your fairy affirmations. Quiet time. This card reads, you need some time alone away from other people and environmental noises. Even a brief uh, respite would be extremely rejuvenating for you. So sometimes we're not even cognizant of the uh, detrimental impact of stress in our life. Didn't I tell you I was feeling that pain in my stomach? We become so accustomed to living in an uproar that we're not aware when our body is telling us that it's an overload. 
The symptoms include illness, unusual fatigue, depression or anxiety, appetite and weight issues, addictions, sleeping disorders, irritability, and a desire to withdraw from life. By drawing this card, you are being asked to honor your body. And by spelling or spending some quiet time alone as soon as possible, this might mean that you go on to a silent retreat or spend the day at a lake, a beach, or in the mountains. That's what I was telling you. Go into nature. Take a hike or just do um, visit a day spa. Anything that you can just turn everything off where it says do not disturb and relax, read a book, calm yourself down through um, that quiet time so that you are not in your head. The fairies are asking you to keep that promise to yourself without delay. So the affirmation for your quiet time card, repeat after me. I now give myself permission to be silent within and without. My mind is quiet and I enjoy my own company. That's the end of your affirmation for your quiet time. Once you send that out, you will probably find yourself in an um, opportunity to shut things down. And remember, you are self-reliant. You can do this on your own through your meditation. And please drink lots of water, my friends. The final card at the bottom was your uh, detoxification in reverse. So if that's something that you need to do and detox, please do so. And um, get yourself some rest, okay? You're going to make it through this change, okay? I'm going to end the reading here on your future predictions for your upcoming month of January by saying this. You have the power to get through any difficult or challenging situation in your life. Remember your roots. Remember to ground yourself so that you can focus on seeing the bigger picture and get yourself through those challenges, okay? Thank you, Taurus, so much for watching or any cross-watchers. And again, if this makes any sense to you, if you can relate to any of this or know of anyone, please say so in the comments. I love you so much, and I really appreciate all that is watching. <sighs> and I will see you next week. Goodbye. Namaste.